Day to day campers. Started at Gwythian at about 5.30 this morning and shot up that road to there to the to the uh no we're there. To the Coast Power. To the Coast Power. To I'll just shout out the name as I'm going by. A nice level flat cliff top path. So for truth, nothing open. Um for town, nothing open. Got out too early, you see. Up the coast, pu -pu 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 -pu. and where do we get to now? Oh, St Agnes, and what's the beach called? Trevanant's Tra Cove. That's uh, St Agnes's beach. Okay, got a little brecky there, which was very nice. Climbed up onto the cliffs, shot around to um, Gwythian Tollgate, a little bit of a what's that there? Parenporth. Yeah, shot over to Parenporth. I should have camped there at Toll at Tollgate, but I was in time. I was early. So shot along the sands and around the head and into Hollywell and decided to how did it go? Um Hollywell Bay shot along there and then took a, a leap over the, the Hooji there and got a nice little campsite there. Lovely basic shower mode, this and the other. All you need. In hitting distance, that was my that was where I finished. But I've got hitting distance of New Key. Don't have to stay at New Key tomorrow, which it would have been of uh, which would have been Port Beach, I was say that last time. I can shoot along and and there's a Canavas Bay. Canavas campsite, which is there. That's your lot. Good morning, Sunday, the 25th of June. I'm heading out again. It's round about uh, 5 5.30 and uh, I've hit the rope. Nice palace. Eat out last night. Nice food. Loads of it. Okay, let's leave Guthian. It's built a bit dull and overcast, but hey, just get some miles in today to the next campsite. Some uh, lovely coastline, and uh, I'll take that. It's the first time I've done that. Left my poles. I left my poles, stung and out to war. Everybody makes mistakes. Uh, I've just been doing a bit of road walking. Uh, just come across the coast again. Where it blends together. Oh, so happy I got back here again. It's boring on the road. You get some miles done, but yeah. I'm happy. You're a bit knackered this morning, though. You know what? Maybe because it's. I slept on a slope or something. But uh, being to poor truth sooner and later, I doubt if anything will be open. But uh, hey, I don't care. A lovely path between Gwythian and uh, poor truth. Lovely high level, right by the sea. Uh, you're alone with your thoughts. It's wonderful. And it looks as though the sky might be clearing slightly. Well, some of the mist here, chunk out there. But anyway, being alone with your thoughts, going on this, look at this path. It's been like it for the past two or three miles. And it's going to go on like it for a little while longer. This is why we're going to crush those miles today. 
Russia on my side. Yep. Life is good. Even though the, the sun isn't sparkling like it was before. But uh, hey, come on. That was a bit oppressive, wasn't it? No time to think. No time to do anything except for drinking water. And keeping rehydrated. Yeah. So, uh, somebody doing a step camp. There's a bit of loads of little sites around here for step camping. Okay. Wait for a minute. Here is Portreath. Uh, lovely little village, and the sun's just come out for us. miles after Port Treath for this fence around the airfield Nanskooked or something Nanskooked but uh, yeah formidable not a, not a unscarable fence but yeah there's a little uh, look out town they have in Cold War times they used to it's a man Kempt path, but uh, you still got the good old southwest path. Power to you. God, I'm just remembering the. Uh, the way coming the other way last year and it was just a mist, misty rain drizzle in my face loads of wind so pressing into the wind all the time with a drizzle and I couldn't see it was miserable and plus the high mileage I had to do to get to the, the pub for the last bit of food which consisted of two helpings of sticky toffee pudding. That's all because the kitchens were closed. But yeah, that was a miserable day. God, I'm so glad I'm covering the same distance today and it's not in your face with drizzle and whatever because that would have pissed me off again. But uh, look at it now, the sun is trying to show and uh, it's uh, it quite pleasant really quite pleasant bring it on okay just come up this uh, get down and up this climb commonly known as the bastard yeah that's a bit of a climb right? the airfield. like a mine shaft very much so but you look into it and there's modern steps going down a round cylindrical thing 
and rumour has it, well, you have the airfield over there. Now, you have the airfield over there. And uh, rumour has it, they dumped a load of, or buried a load of chemical gases and nuclear crap, but I think it was more biological crap I heard about. They just buried it underground to get rid of it at the end of the Cold War or whatever, 60s, 70s, when no regulations. And that there, I'm sure, is an inspection hatch to see if there's any leakage. So, beware of false mine pits. Very good. I'm impressed with that. Whoa. That's what you call gig rowers. Well, that was the gig rowers of Porth Tawen, not Porth Cothen. Porth Tawen. This is where I was directed up a cliff. A cliff path to get up to here last year. And the path was about six inches and the, the, the other was a sheer drop. The other side. I nearly died. No joke. No joke. Eerie going past Kligger Point, I think. That is really that's where they used to mine dynamite and the like. Oh, little cans they've got now. See a little can there? A little can over there. So we can follow our way through. That's nice. So we drop down into Chapel Porth with the lovely little uh, uh, cafe there. Toilets. Trust properly. Lovely. On the stunning coastline, which you can never really get tired of. To the emergence of Will Coates Mine. The icon. Of a bygone age, 
that is cool. Yeah, amazing. Blue sky over there as well. Would you believe it? I have my wind, my wind shirt on all day today. So is it a bit breezy? Bigger that for an icon. They really kept kept it up well. Quick view up to it, and we'll continue on our journey. Amazing! People used to work here. Uh, Travonance Cove or beach, the beach to St Agnes, which is just up the road, popular for surfs, surfers. God, I've never seen so much sand down there. And there's a little cafe and a pub down there, but uh, yeah, beautiful little spot. Good. Spot on. First time I've seen so much sand there. Yeah. Let's get down. Just okay. had a lovely breakfast down in Tremont's Cove. Now I climb the, climb the hill and I'm going to go down here now. Okay. One path down here. Alright, well, this is uh, Cligger Head, Cligger Mine. What's the remains of it? They uh, produce nitroglycerin for the uh, the war effort, World War, World War One, for shells and rockets and God knows what else. And uh, I've got to get down there for some reason. I'm on the wrong path. Love this bit of coastline past Click Ahead. <laughs> Dramatic, wild and woolly. And uh, the sea is such a beautiful colour today. See the uh, the path just clings to the the cliff edge all the way around to Parent Sands. Go I walk to this path after a few pints at uh, St Agnes one time, and just finished it. On the dark, in the dark, I had to put my tent up just before the youth hostel, before Parent Sands. That was a bit silly of me, but uh, yeah, I was fueled on a couple of pints of uh, real ale. Can't beat it. Okay, switching off for now before a trip. Sands, home port, looks beautiful, doesn't it? Alright, I get a stretch along though there tomorrow. Up around the headland. I'm not gonna do it today. I'm calling it a day. Well, got on to Parin, got into Parin Porth, and I thought it's only one o'clock. Or one one fifty or something. I thought I could do a bit more. So I asked, asked a guy uh, who's passed and said, um, where's my uh, the toll gate campsite? And it was up the hill. So I thought, bloody hell, I don't fancy walking up the hill. I'd rather be walking across the sands and around the point. So I've had quite a day tomorrow getting through Newquay. Anyway, I'm halfway or nearly done on the Paranborth Beach and uh, see if there's unknown territory, see if I can get a, a 
campsite around Hollywell area. Should be able to, all right. Happy days. After Penn Hale Sands, there's Penn Hale Camp. Bleak army camp in the middle of nowhere. There's lots of squaddies in there. No, it's, no, it's the walk that goes back. A strictly fenced in area. They don't do a lot up here. Throw the old courses, I expect. But, uh, yeah. Bleak where all army camps are. And there's a big uh, aerial system up there. joke campsite uh, quite a stretch from Gwythian it's a lovely site night pants and I you go to showers and toilets and the rest of the uh, stuff but very good for what it is and being so close to Newquay ideal to park a lot but uh, yeah there's a few people here not much great a good end to the day